Hey and welcome to New World with Aragon. So there are many different weapons within New World and it may be confusing as to which ones you should pick up and what they're particularly good for. So I'd like to go over the two weapons that I would recommend as a new player when starting out in New World. They're the most like user friendly, at least from what I found play testing them. So here is your weapons and each of them can be leveled up. Whenever you use it you will gain experience whenever you kill things and you can gain up to 20 points on each of these weapons. Each of those points you'll slot into these and you'll gain these features and these powers. You can have three powers on each weapon in your bar and you can also have as many of these features as you want up to a maximum of 20 points spent. So you could fill out the entire berserk tree or the throwing tree. You can of course mix and match. So the reason I suggest hatchet as being one of the best to be using is its berserk ability. Right from the get go as soon as you earn a point in this you can obtain this berserk. But what you ideally want is to try and get the second point to get this on the hunt. Whenever you're berserk gain 20% more movement speed. And you can see that when I go and have my hatchet out and we activate the berserk, we can now run 20% faster than any normal person could, which is really good just for getting around the map and also running away from enemies. But wait, it gets better. When we look further down the hatchet tree, you can upgrade berserk even more. You can upgrade it so that now it will regenerate your hit points while it's active. You can also upgrade it so that you can break free of some crowd control effects. For example, stuns, slows and roots, along with finally making it so that you cannot be interrupted while you're berserk. You cannot be knocked or thrown about the place by some enemy. This can be really useful when you're against those really annoying enemies who will knock you about. So we're gonna go up against just this level 15 wolf here. We're level 10, but we should have no problem taking it on. You can see I have my Berserk active. It's healing me for 103 of my HP every tick there. And we kill this drab wolf, no problem. Nearly still on full HP, even though we just took all of the hits from it. We didn't bother blocking, we didn't bother dodging. So this tool is very friendly for new players. This hatchet with its berserk abilities and to just get back to whatever location you want it to be at, you can do use it to just move around a bit quicker. So we move to our second weapon that I would suggest and you can see I have it equipped and that's this musket. However, it can be a little bit complex to source the ammo for it. For it, you will need those iron cartridges. You will have to craft them up using your different reagents, for example, your iron, your gunpowder, and to create gunpowder, you'll need salt peacher, your flax, and I'll make a dedicated video to that a bit later, more on the crafting and the gathering of materials. But from the get go, once you've gone and joined a actual faction, and you can now go and obtain these faction quests. You can use the currency that you tamed from it, which is these tokens, to just go and straight up purchase these iron cartridges. And you'll want to use your weapons a lot to be able to rank them up to gain their abilities. The musket has the great benefit of being able to, whenever you press the fire button, it will immediately hit what you're shooting at or what you're aiming at, instead of having projectiles like you would with the bow. Here we have a wolf and you have this ability where you can basically load a bullet in that will permanently stay there and it will deal a lot more damage. You can see we're having a lot more trouble using, trying to use the musket there, killing it. But that was because we were so up close and there wasn't much point using the musket in the first place. The musket is what you want to use when basically your enemies are far away. Like that wolf over there, you can help out this random person I guess and we can just shoot the wolf from afar. So that's pretty much it for the two weapons that I highly recommend. You pick up from the beginning and just continually use them and rank them up. If not the musket, any other ranged weapon will do. I just find the musket great for that hit scan and you can also get those headshots much easier. When you look at the final capstone of the musket, you can see you'll gain like a scope on it. So you'll be able to aim at things significantly easier. But with that, I recommend picking up the musket and also the hatchet. The hatchet would be the main one you would use with its 
berserk keep in mind when you use and you activate that berserk don't go switching weapon until the berserk is over otherwise you won't gain the benefit from the berserk anymore it is a bit annoying in that way but it makes it so that you don't get the damage buff on some other weapons and like stack them that way be a little overpowered so hopefully this is somewhat helpful to you guys and if it presented this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now